Il suo quartier generale è a Panama, in Centro America, dove organizza matrimoni che sono davvero un tripudio di fiori, di luci, di musica e di ottimo cibo. Sono oggi, ed è un piacere davvero, con Judy Amado de Mendes, una donna che ha in sé il gusto estetico del wedding planner, ma nello stesso tempo il senso degli affari di una grande businesswoman. Uh, thank you, Judy, for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, for having me. Let's, talk, let's start talking about the belief retreat. This is the second time and this is the second time you are in. Why do you take part? You know, but I believe it's a completely different offer. Belief for me, it has united me with people that are what we say or we could say in English, my persons. Mm -hmm. These are people that think, work, live similarly to me. Where the difference is in La Large Conference, you go only to sit down and listen knowledge, one-way knowledge. Here is connections, it's real connections. I know sometimes the word is overrated mm -hmm. because everybody talks about connecting and the social media and connect and let's connect and networking. But belief is the real thing about connecting. You know, we met, now we meet again, it's like, We had a connection throughout the year, and that's what belief gives us. It's a real, honest, we are all in the same boat connection. And this year we are in Italy, in Italy, in Palermo. But which are the differences or the, what is similar from your way in Panama to make uh, weddings and the Italian way? No, weddings, I always say, Weddings are weddings, are weddings, are weddings. Uh, from the point of view of the business, it's the same business. It's what changes is the culture. So I don't know what, how do people like to celebrate weddings in Italy in the sense of are they large, are they ostentatious, uh, do they have a lot of brilliance or are they more simple and classical, that is where the variation is. But in the core part of the business, the wedding world is flat. Okay. It is the same. Mm -hmm. And who are the brides who choose you? Um, I, am, I am very privileged because I always think or understand clearly that I don't choose anybody, <laughs> that the client chooses me. And for that, I am honored and privileged all the time. And we have to always have that in mind because of the service that we sell, because this is a business. Uh, we have to understand that the client has many choices. The ones that chose, choose me are usually looking for delivery of quality and consistency and um, experience that I can solve or in a given moment make everything happen which that actually comes with experience and time. Okay. May I ask you which is in your opinion the best part of your work? The best part of my work is the moment that bride enters the ceremony whether it's the church or a civil or whatever and for me that is the moment where everything I know is going to work or not, but I'm going to make it look at see if it works. But in that moment where you open the door or the walk begins and you see a very particular kind of smile, which it doesn't matter where in the world, which is what I was telling you, is a smile, I always describe it as one smile that goes around your head, which happens only before once which is the moment you find your wedding dress. Mm -hmm. And then you can see it again in that, as she begins that walk. To me, that is the perfect. And the second instance is when I turn my head and look at the groom. That face and that walk, that is magic. So, um, Judy, you are also part of Sposing Magazine, of my Sposing mm -hmm. Magazine. May I ask you what do you think about it and why, um, what do you think about the project Sposing Magazine? 
Well, I, um, I, I met you in the magazine last year and I was, it was a very impressive publication. And uh, I felt, I, I have to tell you, I don't advertise any place. I don't appear in magazines very rarely, particularly not in Europe, nor does the hotel I represent. Because as you know, I'm a general manager of a uh, hotel in Panama. But I felt that it, it carried content and that sold me because when I open nowadays or I look um, digitally into a wedding magazine, my biggest concern is the lack of information and content. Um, you see a lot of advertisement, but now today you can see a lot of advertisement of wedding gowns or venues in Instagram or social media or even Google best places for weddings in Italy. And, you will have at least the 10 best, the 7 best, the 5 best. A, a magazine that is in this center is good, has to carry information or content, real life content that cannot be Googled so easily. So that was the reason. Thank you. Last question about you, your work and the future of your business. What will happen? I am um, now what I call, I don't know, oh well, yes, in English, the harvest. I am 62 years old. I have been working in the business world already for um, 26, 27 years and in the hotel industry where I saw weddings, uh, more, almost uh, 40. And um, all of these, those years, or a lot of those years, maybe the past five or years, I call it the harvest. All the time before, it was the planting, the seed, the putting uh, to make this strong. Now, I am at a point where I can work less, make more or make the same money, but um, harvest, teach, mentor, talk to you. <laughs> and that is basically what I am heading okay. at this time. Okay, next year, uh, finally, the um, uh, um, Bleef Retreat will be in Panama. You will organize it. It will be in Panama. It's already organized. Oh, amazing. <laughs> it's already, <laughs> already and said. Just Giovanna doesn't let me talk about uh, the evening events and all of that, but it is all okay. ready. So we are just ready for people to register and come to Panama. Yeah. It's a different destination, oh, yeah. and I think that is a um, charm of belief retreats uh, because Belize has a lot of faces but uh, they are all in the in the direction of connection and um, the retreats charm would be that because they are in different place organized with different people with the same view of a profession but it all changes just because it is in a different place so Panama will be more probably informal and um, a lot of fun, but Caribbean blood and mm -hmm. Central America, Latin, okay. wild on Panama sort of. Okay, so good luck. You are a great woman. I'm really happy to have you here with me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.